right, guys, welcome back to the Toyota Center. You know, earlier tonight, Jay, we were talking about energy. Rockies to come out with energy. You know what? It was a pretty boring game. First three quarters. Yeah, it was. I mean, I didn't know what was going on. I don't think the Rockets knew that it was a closeout game, but they got to it later on, and they were able to get it done in the fourth quarter. So here's the deal. Rockets were all-time 8-0 going into 3-1 leads in the playoff series. Right. So I told you what was going to happen. Yeah, you said this is going to happen. <laughs> they were gonna I win. said they were going to close <laughs> this one out, too. And you know it. what? Nine times in a row, the Rockets have done it nine in their whole history. Let's check out some video highlights here. I mean, guys, good stuff early. James Harden trying to control, but it was CP3's night. CP3 was all over the place, especially in the second half. More on him in a minute. James Harden just doing his thing as usual. A little bit under the weather. Uh, not very active on the court in the third quarter and middle of the fourth quarter. Uh, so he let others carry the team. P.J. Tucker had 19 points tonight. A big night for him. Uh, Donovan Mitchell kind of took over the third quarter, Jay. That's right. Donovan Mitchell did have a good game, but you saw in the third quarter he was able to get injured, so that did not fare well for Utah. And he tried to come back in the fourth quarter. He was out for the game, and then it was bad news bears for the Jazz after that. And you were speaking about P.J. Tucker. This guy was killing it from the three-point line, 5 of 7. We saw him out here before, and he was shooting these same buckets. Doing his thing. Free game exactly. and making it in the game. So that shows the kids at home. If you do it in practice, it's going to work in the game. And again, at the end there, you saw CP3 knocking down one of his three pointers tonight hey 41 points they said he had 10 assists zero turnovers they're saying that is a stat that's never been done since they started counting turnovers Jay you know that's interesting too because they play such a fast type of ball right. so normally when you play that type of up and down ball you're gonna make a lot of turnovers but CP3 they brought him here for his experience and then also he doesn't turn the ball over and he could take a lot of weight off of James Harden into the third quarter just electric Three threes knocked down by the Rockets on a big run to end the third. And then the fourth quarter, Gerald Green slam. We're going to have to find that for you. We're going to have to put that on social media. We're going to have to have it tomorrow morning on 12 News Daybreak because that thing rattled this entire arena. It woke the entire Toyota Center up. And all that matters now is that the Rockets are waiting possibly for the Warriors. That will probably kick off game one this upcoming weekend for the Western Conference Finals. CP3 never been to the Western Conference Finals. He was elated in there, wasn't he? Well, that's the thing. You had to come to Houston to get it done. You couldn't do it in L.A. You couldn't <laughs> do it in New Orleans. You had to come to Houston. They got it done. And this is my first time in Children's Center. You told me about this before. You came as a fan. This place gets very loud. And a lot of people weren't here at the beginning of right. it. But as soon as halftime hit and everything, this place was rocking back and forth. Right. And the Jazz came back. And what I really liked about that, I talked to you about that before, I didn't think the Rockets were really challenged too much. Much. And this shows right here that they were challenged enough. They could bounce back, and then CP3 can go off for 41 points. Exactly. The challenge was accepted. The Rockets win the series 4-1. to one. Looks like Golden State's up big already up on by, New Orleans. Up by eight points right now, about so, one and a half time. We'll have that update on 12 News Daybreak in the morning. But for now, we're live inside Toyota Center. Jay Russell, Lance Edwards, live in Houston for 12 Sports.